What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Since I'm about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today. So the director of Jeepers Creepers Reborn has finally commented on everything that's been brought to light. He tweeted out in response to a fan, well as often well as so often the grand the grand old internet knows nothing about nothing usually even less when it comes to lawsuits i've just seen the finished film and it's really good mind you and we are now sketching out release we are now sketching out release schedule so stay tuned for news on that and then someone claimed something else in response to that and he said i never had rights to the jeepers creepers movie i'm the director only hired to direct the film the question you have is whether the producers have the rights or not and the answer is yes they do I don't really understand that because then he followed up later on with a tweet stating I'd love to in response to someone asking for a trailer and release date he said I'd love to unfortunately it's not me who decides when the film comes out or when the trailer is out I'm hoping to hear something pretty soon so hopefully I can share some news in the coming days but so far I know as little as everyone else so why do you know that the producers have the rights to the movie but they don't let you in on anything else is what doesn't make sense to me. This again is where I think people are starting to see that there's a lot of inconsistency with what is being relayed and stuff not making sense because of the fact that obviously you can't come out here and say, yeah, we're in court and we made a movie with we didn't we we didn't go about making this movie all the correct ways the other thing that's not really making sense here is that if you do some digging you can also find out that one of the iron sky movies had associations with myriad pictures who we know is associated with jeepers creepers two three and i guess they were they were supposed to be associated with four and they weren't which is why we are in this case that we're in so knowing that and knowing that there's already that connection between the iron sky director and myriad pictures you start to think why is it that you don't know much about these things but you have a relation already established with myriad pictures some type of connection i would say so it seems pretty out there to, to just be convinced of what you're you're trying to relay because of how there's also th things i've been sent which i'll leave a description i'll leave a link to this in the description as it pertains to a third iron sky movie that was shot but never released so as far as like the name of that iron sky movie i think it was pronounced or titled iron sky the lost ark and it was just or iron sky the ark and it just was never it was never released i'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can so you guys can read it but it was a movie that was shot and just never released and it seems like it is falling into this jeepers creepers 4 movie is falling into that same path um because so far what i've read in relation to the trial that's going on there's another hearing coming up on may 17th may 18th i'll leave a link to that um trial listing site so you can read it but i think it's may 17th or the 18th there's another hearing we know there was a hearing that that supposedly went on yesterday i don't know what went on i saw that there were some updates of all the documents that were submitted it looks like what what went on was the the jeepers creepers 4 team i'll call them tried to then make claims against the original plaintiff myriad pictures which didn't really hold up so then now there's motion to strike because what they try to do was i guess have punitive damages brought against myriad pictures but now there's a motion to strike that's been been sustained because of the fact of other claims that were made weren't being backed up and i guess now they're gonna other things might get stricken the whole case is still ongoing but it seems like from what i'm reading how there's a cross defendant and a cross complainant the cross complainant would then be the original defendant and the cross defendant would be the one who was the original the original plaintiff slash complainant that brought us to why we're here which is myriad pictures the cross defendant is the one who has the advantage right now that's that's myriad pictures so at this stage it seems like they have the advantage in court but we're being told also that there's something i guess that's going to come out with the release of this movie i don't see how we can believe that or how that's going to be possible this is still ongoing there's literally going to be a hearing in another couple of weeks days so knowing what he's saying and learning now that all of this dirt exists out there that relates to the iron sky movies it's just hard to really take that serious I don't know why this movie would release when it is actively involved in a fraud lawsuit. That doesn't mean that we know all the ins and out of it. And that doesn't mean that we're correct on everything. If there's things that I'm wrong about, then I'm just wrong on them. The thing about it, though, is making the statement that, you know, there's things that people knowing nothing. I mean, 
I guess at one point we didn't know that Dee Wallace was in the movie because she wasn't announced, right? We didn't know that Jaru Benjamin was going to be playing the Creeper because he wasn't announced, right? We didn't know that Sidney Craven wasn't going to be playing Lane because she wasn't announced, right? We didn't know Imran Adams wasn't going to be playing Chase because he wasn't announced, right? If I'm not mistaken, I recall I made countless videos on it and you guys watched. And then when an announcement came about those two actors, you guys, some of you anyway, because you had already watched my videos like that's all your that's all you put out i mean people had already known that and it's not even about the fact that it required watching my videos these were things that were already out there for people to find the notion of d wallace might have been something that wasn't out there as strongly as imran adams and sydney craven were so to say that you know the inter the internet knows nothing I mean, most most times, I guess it doesn't know anything. Some people on the Internet don't know anything. But this is a fact of the matter. There is a lawsuit going on. It's related to fraud. Myriad Pictures seems to be in the lead as far as like who's who's being um, who has the better chance of coming out on top right now. So I don't see why this movie would still get released this year. I don't I just don't get it. I don't understand it at all whatsoever. The Creeper being in court like this and this whole trial going on, what I'm going to try to do is order a subscription to the case or to that website see what other parties are involved because if victor salva's name is there i'm going to do a video on it and i'll see what other documents specifically are being being what these documents are specifically containing and trying to understand them first before i come on here and give my opinions on them because of the fact that this is public information the trial is not over and the the statement of not being so out of the loop but knowing that they have the rights to it i mean the fact that there's a lawsuit going on i guess would prove kind of otherwise since they also don't again seem to be in the lead right now with that lawsuit they seem to be taking an l there's also countless lawsuits i think you can find if you just search up certain producers names involved with the movie too and see that they have current struggles going on that's not even related to jeepers creepers 4 just other current lawsuits so I appreciate his comments, but I don't really have much faith in those comments. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.